Welcome to this video of the marvelous magnetic marble machine. One may look at marble machines as a form of kinetic art, but whether they are lies in the eye of the beholder. To me, this is the playground on which engineering meets creativity. I designed the machine from the ground up and built all components with my 3D printer. The machine is so small that it fits into a cube with a side length of one foot. And the marbles are steel balls just a quarter of an inch in diameter. There are countless YouTube videos of marble machines, and many of them are more elaborate than this one. There are, however, some unique features to this machine, and I will talk about them in just a moment. The main parts of the machine are the magnetic elevator in red, the green track and the yellow track. An Arduino compatible microcontroller is housed in the blue box. The magnetic elevator lifts marbles from the bottom to the top. The inside view reveals a conveyor belt to which small magnets are attached. In operation, marbles are attracted to the magnets but can't really touch them because of the thin outer wall of the elevator. From the outside, it looks as though the marbles rise to the top of the elevator by magic. At the top of the elevator, the red distributor directs marbles to either the green or the yellow track. Most marbles go to the green track because the yellow track can have no more than one marble at a time. The green track starts with a steep decline followed by a loop and a ski jump. I like this super slow motion clip showing marbles in the loop and doing the jump. Marbles land inside the fish bowl from where they drop into the spiral and end their run on the combiner. Now let's take a look at the yellow track. It is a little harder to understand, but I'll break it down and for that the video is slowed down to half the actual speed. The yellow track is long and winding, and along its winding path it crosses the space between the two transparent vertical walls frequently. But in six of the crossings, the track between the walls is missing. Like a road that goes over a river, but the bridge is missing. When a marble reaches a gap, it falls to the bottom. Rest in peace, little marble. Luckily, there are six blue bridges that could span the gap. If the bridges were in the right place at the right time. There then is the challenge. As the marble rolls down the yellow track, one of six blue bridges must fall into place at the exact right time. All six bridges are attached to the same rotor and when one bridge is rotated into its proper place, five other bridges are out of place. It takes sensors, a fast servo motor and a very fast computer to assure that the right bridge spans the right gap at the right time. Here is another super slow motion clip that shows a bridge moving in place just a fraction of a second before the marble reaches that gap. If a marble passes all six gaps of the yellow track successfully, its path is combined with that of the green track. 
But before the marbles get back to the elevator, they encounter the green seesaw. The oscillation of the seesaw is synchronized with the magnets in the elevator, as shown here by disrupting the flow of marbles. This results in the seesaw admitting marbles at the same rate at which the elevator can remove them. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and if you have a question, feel free to ask in the comments. Either way, thank you for watching and auf Wiedersehen!